Okay guys, got a new shotgun here. Mossberg 930 semi-automatic 12 gauge. Gonna do an outdoors unboxing video and a little shooting demonstration. I've got people driving past. I don't have four wheel drive. I bought a brand new truck for five grand and the guy ripped me off and the transmission ran his shit. So I don't have four wheel drive. I've just got this truck. It really sucks. Um, that's about all I want to say about that. Anyways, this is the Mossberg 930. It's got an 18 and a half inch cylinder bore. I'm not sure how many rounds it holds in uh, the magazine, but I'm going to put an extension tube on that anyways. Um, get the labels off. Using my trusty Benchmade Griptilian with 154 cm steel. I sharpen this up with the Lansky system. And you would not believe how sharp this is. I mean, it cuts, it shaves easy. Like, easily as sharp as a razor. Part of the reason I went with Mossberg is because of this. Made in the USA. Plus, it's a really high-value shotgun. This is, you know, $479.00. For a semi-auto shotgun that's really nice. And uh, I'm going to do some stuff to it to make it really good for three-gun shooting. Um, one second here. I just realized I've got... Got my camera. There we go. Sorry about that, guys. Anyways. Freaking smooth as butter. <laughs> I'm pretty freaking excited about this. I love this short swing ability. My other shotgun was about that long, the Mossberg 835. Um, Ultimag. Um, yeah, this shoots two and three quarter and three inch shells. That's all I need it for. I'm gonna make this into a good three gun competition shooting gun, and uh, that's why I bought this. I traded my Mossberg in my other one for this, and uh. Let's get set up and I'll uh, show you some shooting. Okay. Okay guys, I hope you can see this well. I hope I'm over enough so that you can see what I'm doing. I'm gonna be shooting some federal rifled slugs. Pop one in there. Using my uh, California whatever competition reloader thing, which is nice. I gotta practice my weak hand reload. Oh, it looks like it's still. Yeah, it's got the hunting thing in there for some reason, even though this is not a hunting shotgun by any means. Okay, by the way, I have never shot a slug or ever shot this shotgun before. Actually, I've shot a slug, but not in a long time. 
So let me show you what I'm shooting at. I'm shooting at that guy right there. Okay. Hope you can see this well. Haha! <laughs> it's awesome! Let's go check out what we did. Oh, nice. There's a kill shot. Pretty much all those are kill shots. Man, that's pretty awesome. The recoil on this wasn't too bad either. It really didn't bother me. And if my filming's a little shitty right now, it's because I've got it on a tripod still, so. Yeah. Anyways, I got to tighten up my aim. I'm only 15 yards away. I guess that's why the ghost ring sights are good for slugs. I don't plan on shooting too many slugs personally, but let's uh, shoot a couple more. I'll stick the camera up close and uh, see what I can do and see if I can do this without shooting my camera. Load up couple more slugs shoot this baby and let you guys see it up close okay ready to fire Yeah! Got a down zero shot on my IDPA target and a head shot. Oh yeah. What's weird though is <laughs> I'm close enough that the wad is making two holes. That's why I've got these random holes. You can tell the difference because the wad holes rip the cardboard more because they're not going as fast. But uh, yeah, let's shoot this thing with some bird shot real quick and you guys can check that out. Okay, load a couple bird shot. This is what I love about this shotgun. You just throw one in, it's in. I think I'll shoot this from fairly close range because I don't want the shot spreading out and hitting my tripod or camera, but here we go. <laughs> Damn. Oh yeah. Jeez, the recoil on that, uh, Bird shot is like nothing. I mean, that is amazing. It's really fun. Really fun to shoot. The uh, chamber locks open every time. Everything's working great. Um, I seriously recommend this gun. It's, it's really nice. Um, I'm gonna pause the video for a second and get uh, back to my truck for a second and talk a little bit more about what came with the gun and what I expect to do with it.